Hi guys, it's Blackie and Bear. And today for the Silver Wolves, we're going to show you a quick winter project to put together. And it's something you can teach the grandkids. It's something you can do to earn a little bit of brownie points with the misses. And it's something you can just do for yourself to make a piece of camp gear. And what that is, is to make a pot scrubber. Now, why we do this as a winter project? This is the time of the year when broom sage and this is broom sage is all over the fields and around the ditches and stuff like that and what you're going to do is go gather it up cut it off at the bottom i like to use a serrated edge it just works better an old serrated steak knife works real good gather it up bend it you know put a little pressure to it and just saw it off at the bottom and leave the flat ends on it now the old witch's broom that you see in all you things that was this there would be a stick in the middle and this be gathered up and this would be a broom an old broom of the day this is also easily woven into a mat i've seen poor people make these into doormats mm -hmm. things like that doesn't last long but it does work i've seen this be gathered up and put in the dog houses because it's hollow and it insulates well so they would fill up the dog houses with this for to keep them off the ground and be warmer. I've seen this be made into all kinds of stuff, including mattresses. And I have been camping before in the winter and be next to a big sage field like this and just come in and layer it, alternating between tops and bottoms back and forth until I made a nice big thick mattress for me to get on and be able to sleep on. If I'm not mistaken, the Indians use that for thatch on the roofs too. Yeah. It's been used as thatching. It has a thousand and one uses. But what we're going to do today is we're going to make a pot scrubber. We're going to show you how to do that. Now you're going to take you some bank line or some other strong cord. And what I like to do is tie a knot in the end of it so it don't uh, unravel. And you're going to gather up. Okay, you hold on a second do that. We're going to make two piles of this. Now how much for a pot scrubber? I like to take one handful like that, okay? So about that much. The top end of it, the bottom end of it. We're gonna square up this end like that, just bounce it down till all the ends are down here, kind of flush that we've getting. Don't worry about these stragglers, we're gonna get it. Now, how long is the pot scrubber going to be? It's going to be about eight inches long. So I'm going to make one, and then we're going to come up here again and do a second one out of this. All right. So the barrel swing around here. All right, hold that for me. All right. Here's the starting knot. What you're going to do is this. You're going to come all the way around it. You're going to come under it, and then you're going to take the running end, just wrap it around five or six times to make a noose like that. So it's a loop that's going to pull tight, okay? I'm going to go around the whole thing, and I'm going to drop it down to about almost where I'm going to cut it off at, about that far. And by doing that, I can pull it blood tight and take go around two or three times at the same place. After I've done it two or three times at that same place, now I'm gonna pull it tight, I'm gonna come up here, and I'm gonna take it, twist it, and put the loop over. That's gonna tie it, so to speak. All right, twist it go over the top. Okay, there you go. The hard part is getting it past all these little frizzies and everything. There we go. And that will cinch it up. Now the advantage of using a thing of bank line like this is you got to toggle automatically. So you can pull that puppy tight. Once you do, go around, twist it again. You can also just go around and pass it through itself. You want to do it like that. If you're making a cinch is what you're doing. And that should get it Good and tight. Now, spiral up it, two or three. Try not to punch your helper in the face while you're doing it. 
This makes the main body. Pull it tight as you go. Alright, get up here about where you're wanting to be. Again, I'm going to go around and I'm going to go back through that loop. Just cinch it up and tie it in position. And finally, one more time. Now on this last one, I'm going to go through twice. And that'll make a cinch like the first one. Pull it up blood tight. Now, we're going to cut it off. Out here somewhere. And taking that one, we're going to take, go around and pull it up as a cinch knot right there at the thing, i.e. just tying a knot and then end up so it's a slip knot. It can't go back down through, okay? There we go. Now, see on this end, we've made it, get rid of all these little scruffies. made a scrubbing in. Now right up here at the top I'm going to cut it off. You can saw it off, you can do whatever. I'm going to do the expeditionary way. See? Now that is a pot scrubber for scrubbing pots. Things like that. You can make these up for camp to keep them in your camp or you can make them up to take them home. I've done both, and I normally do one like this for the misses. Now, what I did right there is you take the running end of the line. Remember, I left it long. Okay? Once you've got it pulled tight in that knot down there, take and go through the middle. Just like that, pull it tight. It pulls it down in the middle, all that. Change direction slightly. Go back through and pull it tight all the way down now it's buried in there and you can cut that off old blade master come on now there we go now pot scrubber real simple something you can keep at the sink something you use in the camp for cleaning up and etc it lasts a lot longer than you think my wife had one of these that lasted right at two and a half years that she kept by the sink just for that. It weighs nothing, and you ain't out nothing but a little bit of cord. You can teach the little ones to do it. Simple trick. Here's another thing about this. He's got a dollar and a half. Maybe. Maybe tied up in it, counting your time. Uh-huh. You can buy these online. Oh, yeah. Okay. Going to run you about 18, 20, to buck, 20 bucks a piece. Mm-hmm. He's got about a buck 50 counting his time. Mm-hmm. Do the math. Yeah. Make up some of these and next time take to your camp out mm -hmm. and see if your buddies want to give you a buck a piece for them or something or two bucks, yeah. something like that. They make yeah. good Christmas gifts. They make a great gift. To get a, it's a great thing to teach the little ones to do, yeah. get them to help you make them, etc. It's a simple, super easy project. And as long as you use nylon cord that doesn't rot and come apart like cotton, this will last until it finally gives up the ghost. And when it does, you ain't out much. Hope you've enjoyed this, guys. Me and Bear's about to shoot at Old Ways for posting this Sunday. If you got any comments or questions, please put them down below. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie. And Bear. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.